Well, this is it people. Today's the day. Let's get the garage open. Yep, today's the day and my buyer is coming to pick up the RSV. Warming her up, still cold. Turn that choke down a bit. Let's have a look, one last. Let's have a look around her. It's been a cool bike. Some dead bugs. Yeah, so uh, got my buyer coming this afternoon to come and collect the bike. And then, uh, looks like I'm going to uh, be getting something different. Not quite sure yet what. Going to be downsizing for the commute. So, uh, we're looking at a few different types of bikes at the minute. holes in the road yeah so I've got a couple of bikes in the frame at the moment I was uh, looking at going down the crazy route maybe I've been looking at those little Benelli TNT, 125 TNTs there's a few of those for uh, sale on Gumtree and eBay and on the private listings Looks absolutely bonkers. Good fun little uh, bike. So um, yeah, looking at those. Looking at one of the. Uh, they're made in China, by the way. Um, looking at some of the other Chinese ones that they're out there. One two fives, two fifties. Two fifties are a bit rare at the minute. And quite hard to get a hold of. But I wanted to go down the uh, supermoto route, that type of style of bike or enduro. Just because purely the roads, I think I've spoken about this before. This is probably about the biggest road, if I go this way that is, that I encounter. And uh, a yeah, nice one, Belend. Fucking screamer. Um, yeah, so uh, that's the route I'm going down. I only do 10 miles of the commute. I'm not really getting any other type of biking in at the minute because I've got quite a busy lifestyle at work and such. So it's not as if I go out at the weekends riding. I just don't get the time with the kids. But guaranteed, I probably will do now. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, just after lunch, got a guy coming down, he's going to give me a ring, he's going to come and collect it, he's coming up from London, we'll see what happens. Still glorious here in the UK, still mega hot, I reckon it's going to be about 30 degrees again, which is amazing. Oh, Mazda's still there. There. No one's uh, claimed that one yet. Yeah, I've taxied myself though because I've uh, just recently topped the bloody bike up as well. I didn't think it was going to go so quickly. So uh, I need to use some of that fuel up today at some point. I would have been giving that to the buyer. Yeah, mate, have my bike and have a fucking tank of fuel as well. No. So, uh, yeah, I'll go for a one last little ride this afternoon. Before I hand it over. Oh, 
Oh well, cut to this afternoon. There she is. One last ride. Let's put this bad boy on before she disappears. Just picking Dave's brains. Let's have another look at the machine. I know we've already looked at her. Oh, look at that, look. Bleeding bird. No, is that a dump? Oh, we'll get that off. Oh, he's got my, my uh, dream bike in now. Honda Valkyrie. Absolute monster. Press play. Ooh la la. Let's give it a thumbs up. Yeah. So here we go. Right. One last ride before I sell the beast. Just going to take it for a spin. Home we go. Crazy, ever since I've uh, confirmed that I've sold the bike, one or two things have happened where either someone's tried to kill me in their car or the bike's tried to kill me. Yeah, I think we'll take it easy. Take it easy, baby. Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. Don't want any dramas. So I've just been looking on eBay with Dave and uh, there's an MT-03, a Yamaha MT-03 660 engine I think that is, black for sale local, probably in my price range, uh, yeah looks quite nice, if you haven't seen one they're similar size I suppose to either a Harley Sportster or a Ducati Monster 620 696 even you're looking at uh, yeah that size or what's the other one Kawasaki ER6 yeah it's probably it's got the um, the shock absorber that goes on the side on the side of the bike rather than uh, so it's mounted on the side rather than under the back wheel under the back wheel under the back seat or yeah so yeah that might be an option we shall see. It's always dodgy this corner because you've got all this fucking crap in the middle of the road there. It all gets a bit squirrely. I think that's the expression, squirrely. Yeah, these roads are absolutely, you don't want to be riding these roads at a 1000. Too bumpy, too shitty. What happens when you live in the country? Hence, either a supermoto or a, some type of naked that can soak these bumps up. Yeah, look at that crap there as well. Yeah, so I had a little scare. The reason we're going to see Dave down at Troston was um, I rode to work there a bit earlier and the uh, bike come to a stop and I had a I was like, fucking hell, I can smell burning. And uh, I had a puff of smoke come up through the uh, through here. And uh, just could smell the uh, oil. So obviously, you can imagine my arse was going like that, because um, I'm selling the bike, aren't I? So I've just been down to see him, and we've recently just done an oil and filter change. We filled it, we filled it up to the level, which is uh, standard, but... Um, he was saying if you do wheelies and that, then sometimes the oil can uh, leak into the airbox and that's what you're getting. So I'm guessing after what happened yesterday, when I nearly bloody dropped it, maybe some oil's got into the airbox because it hasn't done it, touch wood, hasn't done it since. So, uh, get in front of that lorry.
there, going to miss the old girl. Absolutely beautiful machine. Unfortunately, you don't want to be riding all year round as a commuter. This is like a special take her out of the weekend, Chris and love type machine. You know what I mean? Get in front of this lorry. Get over this side because that side is shocking. Yeah, if you're ever in Bury St Edmunds, don't drive on that side of the road if you're on your bike because the road is shit. My little tip for the day. radioactive sign at the back of that discovery look at that it's got nukes in the back yeah look at that wonder what he's carrying he's got the British nuclear arsenal in there that's what that is That bump, fucking shocking, isn't it? Oh well, people, that's the uh, last vlog I'm ever going to do on the Aprilia, the RSV. Uh, sad to see it go. So, love the videos, hit that like button, which is the thumbs up button. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you want to get notifications, smash that notification bell and all that good stuff. And that, my friends, is Jim Diesel out. Motherfucker, what the? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nearly killed me, baby.